back with another video. Um, yeah, happy Mother's Day to everyone. And yeah, I'm finally gonna bring out a video. Uh, sorry I've been busy the past few days. That's why I haven't uploaded. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do the Mother's Day scents. Um, majority of these are floral because it's Mother's Day, but yeah, so I wrote down some of the keynotes and I'll just go through them and yeah, so the first scent here is gorgeous and this is my backup and I've already gone through it, <laughs> but I have to use it up. It is old. It is from 2016. I got it during the semi-annual and I bought two of these and I used one up so this is my backup. Um, I really like this scent. I don't wear it often because it is very strong um, but it smells really really good. The key notes to this is Amberwood and Manoi Flower. So it smells really good. If you like Manoi oil or Manoi Flower um, you probably like this if you like amber. It smells really, really good. Um, I miss the Manoil oil, oil uh, body butter that I had that I used up. I want to get a backup. But it smells really, it smells slightly similar. And the amber really gives it that mature, uh, sophisticated smell. I really like this one. Um, but I just don't wear it often. But I do have to use it up. Because it is old. But yeah. This is gorgeous. The next scent here is Tea's Flower. This is old. <laughs> this one 2017 as well. Um, I regret only buying one of these. Because this one smells really, really good. I was actually wearing this one today. This is the scent of the day. <laughs> But it smells really, really good. Um, the keynote to this is orchid, sugar, tulips, cream, and vanilla. That's a handful, but it smells really, really good. Um, it smells really good. I can smell the, the orchid and the tulips and slight vanilla. It's not, it's like in the back note. But you do smell the orchid and the tulips. It's very strong. It's very strong floral. But it smells really, really good. So that's tea's flower. Next, I had to throw in rose because it's Mother's Day and roses is usually given. So I had to throw this in here. This one smells really, really good. Um, I think I might have used it once since I've had it. I'm trying to hold on to it. I want to get the body cream to this and I want to get a backup scent so I can use it. So I can use it up. But I want to get a backup cream so I can hold it in my collection just a little bit longer. But the keynote to this is rose water, jasmine petals, and creamy musk. And it smells really, really good. You can smell the jasmine and the rose. Um, it is strong. Um, it does affect my allergies. Some days I can wear it and I can be fine. And other days I'll wear it and I'll get a slight headache. So I can't spray too much because it is very headache inducing, but it does smell really, really good. Um, and I'm glad that I have this one in my collection. Uh, my boyfriend actually picked this out for me and he's like you have to get this so he likes this scent on me as well um but it smells really really good so this is rose next i threw in the almond blossom and this one is sweet almond oil vanilla orchid and cashmere musk and it smells really good I know I keep repeating myself but it smells really really good I really I really like almond scents I like the sweet almond you know type of scents um like the kukuri nut 
I really like that scent. Um, I like that body butter. I don't want to use it up, but I know I'm going to have to eventually. But it does smell really good. Um, the Almond Blossom, I love the nutty type of um, fragrances. Um, I do miss the um, the uh, Chestnut Organ. That was a really good scent. And it slightly smells slightly similar. Um, but you do get more of the floral note in this. It's in the back. It's the back note of this. Um, but it smells really good. So yeah. That's Almond Blossom. And then I threw in Violet Plum. Even though these are spring scents, um, they're perfect for Mother's Day in my opinion. Um, and the keynotes to this is uh, not here because just like with the other keynotes, um, the notes were just everywhere. Um, it wasn't the proper, you know, keynote, so I didn't wanna jot down anything that was inaccurate. So um, I am going to get the creams to this eventually, but this one, you do smell the plum. Like, I like this one because of the fruit note in it. Um, I do like plum, but I like it with, you know, mixed with other scents. I just don't like straight fruity scents because then it's too, um, it's too much. Because um, I do like to mix my scents. I'll play around with my scents and just create my own. Um, but... The plum note in this is really, um, it's really strong. And then you get like the floral note in the back note. But it's, it just, it might have peony, maybe? I'm smelling peony. Peony and plum, maybe? I'm, that's what I'm picking up. I'm not sure, but that's what I'm picking up. I used to have the peony um, body spray and cream. And I got rid of it because it was headache inducing and now I miss it now I want it back but um yeah this is violet plum and then I had to throw in gingham because it's a very sophisticated scent and I really like this one <laughs> this one is blue freesia white peach clementine Violet and Clean Musk. You do get the musk, but it's very... It's light. It's not a strong musk. It's a light musk. But you do get the, um, the freesia and the clementine. I don't get any peach in this. I don't smell any peach. I smell... Freesia and Clementine, it's very strong. Um, I don't get any violet in this, um, but it's very, very floral. Um, I just don't know where the peach in this is. I, I don't smell any peach. I just smell straight floral, but it's really nice. It's a very pretty scent. Um, I really like this one. Next is a Japanese cherry blossom. This is my favorite floral scent from Bath and Body Works. This is the first scent that I was introduced to next to uh, Twilight Words, Be Enchanted, and um, Secret Wonderland. Um, this one was my very first purchase from Bath and Body Works. Um, this one smells so good. Like, I'm trying to hold on to it because it is my only um, scent. It's my the only scent that I have. Um, I need to get a backup. <laughs> I need to get a backup of this one. And I need to get the cream. But this is my favorite um, floral scent. And the key notes to this is Asian pear, fresh mimosa petals, white jasmine, and blushing sandalwood. 
and cherry blossom. It smells really good. Yeah, Japanese cherry blossom is a really, it's a really, really pretty scent. I love this. Like, I could wear this all day and not get sick of it. Um, I've used up, I think, two of these. I, I really like it. So, I need to get a backup so I can use um, the scent. Next is Dot Kiss. Of course, I had to throw this in here. Like, it has burgundy rose. So, um, yeah, so I had to throw this one in here. So, the key notes to this is black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. I smell the rose and the plum and the vanilla musk. It smells really, really good. And the raspberry is, is very light. I don't smell much. I don't smell much raspberry. I smell the vanilla, the rose, the plum. It's very prominent. Everything else I don't get. Those are the three key notes I pick up on this. It smells really good. This is my one of my favorites next to Japanese Cherry Blossom and Cashmere Glow. Um, this is a favorite of mine. I need to get the cream and I need to get the cream to Cashmere Glow as well. Next is Run in a Million. And there's a new spring scent or winter, whichever it came out in. This one smells really good. This is one of my favorites, but this scent is making me break out here on my chest. Um, I think I'm allergic to this scent. Um, I could wear the cream. It's just when I spray it on my chest area, I do break out. Um, but I'm still going to use it. Um, it does smell really, really good. I really like this one. And the keynote to this is jasmine extract, turbo rose oil, white gardenia, pink pepper, and cashmere glow. Cashmere musk. Um, I think it's the gardenia in this. Um, I'm allergic to gardenia. Um, I had the gardenia uh, fragrance mist a couple years ago and it gave me an instant headache just whatever it was in it but it was very very strong and I got a headache I had like a migraine for like a couple hours it just would not go away um I think that's what's making me um break out um but it smells really good I really like the scents very very pretty scents like this is like the perfect Mother's Day um, scent next to Rose. It smells really good. And then I got three um, other Victoria's Secret scents here. And this is Doc Peony. And these are the key notes here that were just mixed up. Um, they had the key notes to um, Moonlit Dahlia for dark peony as well so I was kind of confused I'm just I could not find the keynotes to this this one but these are so sophisticated it's so mature so warm you get the the vanilla in this I think they all have vanilla like I'm starting to like realize I think I think there's vanilla in all of these because I'm getting a strong vanilla note and then you get the floral note. It's very pretty. Um, this one is actually my favorite out of the line, um, Dark Peony. And then Moonlit Dahlia. This one is good too. This This one, to me, has more of like a gourmand type of scent to it. Um, it's it's almost like a bakery note. It's like vanilla and like, um, I'm getting like a vanilla cream with this. 
not just straight vanilla it's more like a vanilla cream i'm picking up vanilla cream and dahlia um it's this one smells really good too but i've used it maybe like once so i'm trying to hold on to it i don't want to use it up just yet <laughs> i got a lot of um retired scents to work through um and the last scent is midnight fleur and this one is very pretty at first when i first got it i wasn't really drawn to this um just like the jasmine Nior. i didn't really like that one either it was very headache inducing um so i didn't get it i just i left it um no i no I did I picked it up I bought it and then I sold it I got rid of it but um, this one this one I'm getting like amber I think that I, it's thundering out there if you hear that yeah, I'm getting a strong amber scent in this. It's amber and floral. It's, it's a strong amber note in this. It smells really good. This is a very warm. They're all warm scents, but this is more like... Um, I would wear this one at night. I would. This one is really good. But I don't want to use them up just yet. I'm trying to hold on to them. Um, but yeah, those are my... Mother's Day type of scents. Um, they all smell really good. I love them all. Um, but yeah. Um, the only one that I'm going to be using up out of this is Gorgeous. Because it is old. Um, I might just order me another one online later. Um, yeah, because I don't want none of these scents to go bad. I had enough body cream to go bad. Um... So, that was it. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, comment, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.